Coming up on Press This, the future of WordPress themes. And Kickstarter jumps onto WordPress.org. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, I'm always happy to see you, even though I say that about 17 times a week. Yeah, yeah. Um, this, is the epi- this is the show, excuse me, uh, Press This, where we take a look at some awesome WordPress stuff, themes, plugins, smash them together, review them, talk about them, put them head to head, never really pick a clear winner, but we try to. Um, some big, exciting news. We finally surpassed the 500 subscriptions, yeah. so thank you very much. We do appreciate that. Uh, I got a lot of great feedback. We're going to keep the show going because it seems like everyone loves it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we want to hit the 5,000 subscribers. Go ahead and hit subscribe or slocumstudio.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. We appreciate that as well. Some quick news, a little pause yeah. for the cause, uh, if you will, is we're going to go and release a uh, WordPress 101 playlist uh, where we will be showing you how to do awesome WordPress stuff, create pages, posts, plugins, all that fun stuff. Use it for your friends, family, clients, and so on. Yes. On to the show. Let's kickstart. That was a great <laughs> improv. Good job, Let's kickstart into the show with some Kickstarter. Ooh. That was awful. But... <laughs> Matt, do you use Kickstarter at all, or is that something that you're you're into at all, or interested at? In, uh, uh, I am interested personally? in it. I think it's an interesting uh, business model. Yeah. Uh, I think it's all the the rage uh, right yeah. now. I've never been one to like invest in the pebbles of the world or that new um, that new those new goggles that allow you to do mm-hmm. 3D gaming or whatever it is mm-hmm. um, that are going to be used with Steam stuff, which is or Valve stuff, which is exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, I have been a funder on a couple of projects that didn't make it, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Did you get your money back. Yes. Okay. Which is good. Um, so what we're talking about today is specifically crowdfunding, these crowdfunding applications like Kickstarter, like Indiegogo, um, and how this is actually getting taken over to the WordPress framework now. So a lot of companies are, are, are jumping into this crowdfunding vibe for different, different areas of, you know, of things and uh, or different areas of opportunity, whether it be music or movies or applications, technology, whatever it is. Um, and now WordPress is making it easier than ever before. Right. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, the first one, uh, which is called the Fundify theme. These, this is put on by uh, Pippin Williamson and Adam Pickering, mm-hmm. um, two fine gentlemen that I've interviewed on my other podcast. Yeah. Uh, but what we're seeing here, more specifically, um, Dan likes it yeah. because he, he really does enjoy the crowdfunding right. business and scene. Right. Um, but what I like from this, uh, from a WordPress point of view, is we're starting to see themes come out yeah. that are doing things other than just a blog, just a small business website, right. just a gallery or a portfolio site. Right. These are themes that are addressing specific needs and specific function. Which, which is which is awesome. Which, we, which is we've never seen before. Yeah. Before, like when we started talking, we, we have so many plugin videos that you're going to see for Press This of all these little solutions to different problems. And what people are saying now is rather than, you know, here's a white canvas mm-hmm. of a theme. Oh, and by the way, now my friend over here has released this plugin, which allows you to put in testimonials. Oh, and there's this plugin over here that allows you to put in pricing options or things like that. People are developing themes now for very specific purposes, right. which are lightweight, right. but then also allowing you to you know you get a package of, of plugins that you can share and use amongst the themes. Right. Uh, and the other one that we'll be looking at, which is uh, making all waves in the industry, <laughs> uh, which is Hermes Themes, uh, where where these themes are going out uh, for two hundred bucks a pop, uh, which is totally different than um, than what we've seen in the past. But we're going to talk about why. Right. Back to Fundify. Yes. Pippin Williamson, Adam Pickering, building this as a Kickstarter clone, if you will. Right. Buy the theme on Theme yes. Forest. It's sixty bucks. Yeah. Super cheap money. Yeah. Compared to what something like that can potentially make right. and not just make if you're looking at it from the b- business perspective what it can enable a community of people to do right right for 60 bucks for 60 bucks i right. can create a whole community around something right and the business model behind this that i that i like to see is okay 60 bucks it's the average maybe a little bit above average sure. wordpress theme right. price um, but it has to be bundled with two themes mm-hmm. uh two excuse me two plugins to two use plugins, it yes which is cool because they're free 
Right, they're both free plugins. They're so both they're, free plugins. Exactly. But what this is opening up the door to is um, sort of like in-app purchases. Mm-hmm. Where you right. might buy, or you might download an app for free, or you might even buy like a dollar ninety nine game or something like that. And then there are these little yeah. micro payments that go along with it. We always talk about ecosystems yeah. on the show. This is now an ecosystem right. within a theme, right. slightly right. different than what we've seen in the past. Yeah, and I think these guys are taking a page from like video gaming and, and different things like that. Even like iOS, where you know nobody, you know, people see this app now because they don't have the disc anymore. They just download it and they see five dollars. What? Right. And they won't buy it, but it's free. Right, and then there's a five dollar plug, and oh great, I love this. You know, I love right. this. I love this right. theme. Well, effectively, you did the same thing. It's just the way it was marketed was different, right. um, and it's nice to see that WordPress is kind of going in this in this direction as well. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of that in a nutshell. That's a uh, you know, not only are you getting the the Fundify theme, you're getting all these um, access to these other little extensions of mm-hmm. the plugins that already right. exist. Uh, through Pippin Williamson's like easy digital downloads. Right. If you want to integrate with Stripe, um, you would just buy his Stripe add-on and boom, your your Fundify th- powered site can now payment right. process right. through Stripe, which is awesome. Yeah, admittedly, this is kind of the antithesis to our original point because these plugins are required. Mm-hmm. We were talking earlier about light themes that you know you can, you can add plugins to, and it's mm-hmm. something you can do. Um, but it's still a really interesting model. Uh, it looks just it looks very similar to to Kickstarter and mm-hmm. the way it looks like it looks on the front end and uh, back end to a degree like the way the way it's kind of going to operate with here's like the, here's my images and they're going to fund it this way and stuff right. like that. Uh, another interesting uh, theme developer, yep. uh, Hermes Themes, yes, um, selling one year memberships for two hundred bucks, um, but only hotel themes. Only hotel. So themes. it's very specific, very um, you know niche to the fact that these themes are for hotels. Right. And when this first launched and, you know, made a splash out, yep. out on the community, it was like, oh, my God, a $200 theme. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Right. Who's going who's to pay right. for stuff like that? Um, and this is even coming from seasoned WordPress people right. that know the time and effort it takes to put these <clears throat> things together. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of interesting to see that. Yeah. And, and, and 200 bucks for a complete yeah. hotel website is basically what you're looking at here. It's a little different though. So it's, it's a one-year membership right. for $200, $199. dollars right. so right. let's say $200 for ease. Right. Um, and it, there's four different hotel themes on the website. This is actually broken. Uh, the story is broken by WP Candy. Mm-hmm. And what it basically is is um, he, in the article, it, it, it dictates um, the gentleman. I forgot the gentleman's name who created Hermes themes. I'll put it in the show notes mm-hmm. um, for you. Uh, he basically talks about uh, how he thought so hard about what his pricing was going to come in at. And he was mm-hmm. deciding that these hotels are paying so much you know, for these hosted themes and these hosted websites that cost so much money and haven't been updated for 10 years right. and look like absolute crap. But these, are these hotels with plenty of opportunity for travel and tourism and things like that, um, that this, this was a, a good price for that kind of support with consistently updating updating themes and updating uh, support and stuff like that and systems for this uh, company. So their their website was always kind of in fresh and always in the new. Right, right. Um, yeah. I mean, you think about think about a project, if you're building a new website, and this is the whole point of themes, right? It's right. pre-designed, pre-made, mm-hmm. set at a certain price to make it affordable. And affordable is all relative to how much yeah. your function is, is in the theme. Yeah. Um, or, you know, what you're, what you're trying to do with it. I mean, I think that any e-commerce plugin should be really expensive, expensive with air quotes around it. Right. Because you're, if you're selling stuff and making it, making right. profit off of it, why wouldn't you charge that? Or why wouldn't you pay that for the support that you're going to get? Right. Right. To have somebody in, in the, in the back end that, that that's going to support you. Right. And that's why this theming is so crucial. The fact that we're targeting these very specific markets, because here we have hotels and there's a very specific type of need they have and they need that support and they need to just be able to get it to run. They need to be able to update it as they go, as things change, as they, you know, change their amenity, whatever it might be. Right. Mm-hmm. They need to be able to, to, to display that to the customer in a very, very easy and efficient way. So I, I don't think that looking at $200, you can scoff at it all you want but i think that for this particular market it's fantastic right i mean look at that 200 bucks and say how long would it take me to build this exact Mm -hmm. replica of the site if it's 40 hours let's say it's just one entire work week which there's no way it takes it's that fast to develop something like that or design something like that what's your how much is your time worth is it 50 bucks an hour right times 40 it's two grand you know this is 200 bucks yeah you may have to pay somebody to manage some content on there. But other than that, it's, right. like, it's very, you know, 
put in perspective, it's very, very low cost. Right. So what, what are we getting at here? We're getting at the fact that, like I said earlier, WordPress themes, I, we've seen, I think we're on the upside now, right? I think yeah. that for the last two to three years, we've seen this uh, early adoption or this low barrier to entry of WordPress where people have been saying free themes, I can get free themes, I can buy a theme for five bucks, 10 bucks, really cheap, I can build a site. But then they realize that they don't get the support that they yeah. should be. Um, you know, there's no reinvestment into the theme, mm -hmm. you know, it just, right. it, it launched and that was it. And there was right. never any updates, yeah. no, no feature releases. Um, and now they're looking at it like, you know what, I will pay 60 bucks, uh, and get some, you know, micro payments with inside that by buying other little extensions, or I will pay 200 bucks right. for a completely designed niche product that I need and mm -hmm. gets the job done. We talk about that all yeah. the time when we're, when we're when we're reviewing premium plugins, it's all about the support. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's fitting the need and it's, you know, making you money, what's, you know, good. Do the math. Yeah. Right. <laughs> do the math. Uh, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Um, what do you think? We want to know what you think about themes. Um, how much are you willing to pay for a complete site? What about if somebody came to you and said, you know, I can build you this theme for 500 bucks. Would you pay for it? You know, what, what would it have to be uh, to get to the $500 theme? Absolutely. Uh, some other fun stuff uh, about like Kickstarter and uh, WordPress. Um, Pippin Williamson is also doing the WP Funded mm -hmm. initiative. Yes. Um, so what that is, is basically an effort to improve code and improve WordPress, WordPress core even more than it is already. I mean, it's a great community to begin with. Um, what he's suggesting is a way to fund different either events or different projects to say, this person has a great idea and they have to work <laughs> to make a living, but they would really love to implement this idea in this free, this free thing in this wordpress.org, mm -hmm. this, this, this free beast, which is just great. So what they basically say is, well, let's fund, let's get together and let's fund this person so they can go in and make this change. It's going to take them 20 hours to do this or whatever it is. And here you go. And we can go from there. Right. Right. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to see that mature a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, and some other minor stuff, uh, is the woo sponsorship. Yeah. Um, now you found that as a plugin add on to a, yeah, it's a plugin add on that works specifically with woo themes okay. and with like WooCommerce too and stuff like that. Very cool. And that's mm -hmm. a way to sponsor, yeah. Uh, it's very similar to Kickstarter. Okay. Um, we may look into it more in depth. If you folks decide that you guys are using Woo themes um, and you want us to look into that more, leave it in the comments. We'll be glad to do that for you. Very cool. So uh, what's uh, what's coming up for the future of WordPress themes? We want to hear from you. We think that this is the where, where it's yeah. going. We're starting to see more premium, uh, more high-end themes solving specific needs for a little bit more money than you see on the average um, again, happy to, that we hit over 500 subscrip uh, subscriptions on YouTube. Keep hitting subscribe if you like what we're doing. Uh, we will be launching the WP 101 playlist where you can share that playlist with friends, families, or people that you consult for, for WordPress to learn how to do different things, create pages, create posts, just a helpful tutorial um, that good old Dan had put together for us. Uh, so check us out, slogostudio.com. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.